Performance. Sorry, Mark. That's what I need here. All right, I hope you win. <laughs> so, got my Christmas message? I did, yeah, it was very straight. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're the only one to get such a beautiful message. <laughs> well, you must love me. That's fine. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. tell me about what what you what you alluded to earlier about the. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess it's been now about a month and a half. I got into uh, cryptocurrency. Um, I don't know if you've been looking into that too much. But um, it's definitely like a massive game changer on this planet. It's happening at an exponential rate that none of us have ever seen before. It's this is the charts. Um, Twenty billion dollars in in the whole market cap in January, and now it's uh, approaching six hundred. Might have gone over six hundred billion uh, now. Uh, so less than a year. Um, and uh, what we're seeing is like these. Uh, different companies, small, you know, sometimes it's just small groups of people that are creating these uh, ICOs, initial coin offerings, and um, and then raising capital to essentially fund their vision, what they want to create. A lot of them don't even have a tech team yet in place. They don't have the technology in place. They're, they have an idea, essentially, a really good vision, maybe a good website. Um, and they get, a, you know, and if they get a nice Jedi order behind them and a nice sort of like the techies jump on board and they have like an early adoption and they start to rise. Um, you can, I'm, I'm seeing like two to 3,000% in a few days, some of these, uh, these small things. The guy's raising, you know, two, 200 million, 100 million, 200 million dollars in a very short period of time and <laughs> really on an idea. Um, and whether they're going to be able to deliver on that or not, they definitely have a better opportunity of delivering on it now when they have Dollars, um, but it's still it's the wild wild west. It's it's incredible, and there's thousands of these. Um, so I've been following it, studying it, playing it. Um, you know, the returns, uh, as far as investing, is is off the charts if you understand how the, the whole thing sort of works. Like there's smaller uh, exchanges and there's larger exchanges. If you buy, if you watch one that's really trending on a small exchange, as soon as it comes onto a big exchange, a lot of times it goes up 100 or 200%. So like quickly you can really do well. I look at it as like, you know, the star destroyers flying along and, and you know, like you, you know, the X-wing fighter, you, you, you latch on and you like take a little ride through like a really heavily armed area. Um, there's, there's this thing that's happening and, um, and I think it's gonna, my, my belief is that it's going to, put a lot of, it is putting a lot of resources into people's hands that um, they never had that opportunity before to do really good things on the planet and to do it in a way that's completely transparent on the blockchain um, with, you know, these smart contracts and, and ways of, of verification that are done uh, where nobody can, it's decentralized. And, um, and it can be used in so many different ways. And so um, I was over Christmas and I was like, wow, why are we not doing an ICO right now? I mean, there's never been a better time in order to like raise capital to do what we want. And, um, you know, so I was thinking about media and I, I looked, there are a couple that are in the players that are in the market already, just like gaming and, uh, well, even just like, you know, exchanges and, uh, and coins, just decentralized currencies. Um, there's thousands, you know, so there's like, you know, maybe 50 or a hundred, gaming tokens that are out there now that are um, going to decentralize gaming and, and, and monetize gaming. So, you know, and they're all doing like incredibly well. Um, so in the film production and content creation, um, you know, especially to like unify uh, people like yourself that are um, out there, you know, wanting to create media to like you know, help the planet and uh, are maybe feeling alone or separated and segregated and, and like to be able to create a network that is decentralized and give support to these luminaries that are um, creating amazing productions and, and to create almost like a, uh, a Netflix 
type of uh, scenario, but also having on there like it monetized so that people can use their coins to uh, to support and fund um, different pro projects and thereby making you know return on their investment uh, the coin back in coin or however that works. Um, maybe like like sort of like a uh, uh, like a crowdfunding crowdsourcing type of but an equity re equity return type of project um, <clears throat> but mainly really it's about decentralizing and creating a, a network that is not just uh, for profit and just for whatever story sells whether it be sex power you know violence um, but to tell real stories, to really to be like to really support the storytellers. So I so I came up with the name with uh, Bitflix. And I, I thought to in order to do an ICO, you, you most of them have are using the dot io. So it's kind of like the new dot com is the dot io for initial coin offerings. And so I checked it out and I found uh, that uh, Bitflix dot io was available. So I've got this. Uh, Jedi brother of mine I met at Burning Man. He's actually in Bali and he's working on a logo design. And he just connected me with a tech guy who's been working in the crypto space for a while. Who I haven't actually met with him yet. We just just got connected. Um, so, uh, so that, yeah, that's my plan. I, I wanted to talk to you about how we would create, you know, using the mapping system to to look at this from that level, of, you know, from, from Eagle and, uh, and to build out a plan of action on how to release this and it needs to happen at a fairly quick rate because it's just like happening right now you know so not that it needs to be rushed but i realize that these are the, the players that are in there are getting adopted now and and they're going to have mark as we move forward so you know timing wise it'll be really great and such an amazing way to raise capital and work together as a collective and create a real team yeah so it's almost like that container we were speaking about that you've identified, let's say, the fabric of the container. And now all these different fabrics are coming to market, but whatever fabric kind of works out the best probably gives the most value back in real terms, maybe the one that gets adopted or at least used by us to do the bigger projects we want to do. Is that yeah. sort of right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, start off with the inequity in fund for you know, maybe like five to ten initial projects. And we have some, you know, maybe an, another five uh, sort of, you know, planetary guardian various frontline type of activities, and then having some feature films, maybe some documentaries that are going and starting to put, you know, like a team or like a, a tribe of content creators to giving them the resources they need to start creating stuff for the channel for the blockchain for this distribution model. Um, yeah it's kind of a so so it, it sounds as if in many ways anything could be used we could use i mean and anything being let's say the operating system i've been working on because it's a mainly theoretical operating system but it is one that is there to connect projects together eventually in the same operating system so that all of a sudden you start to uh, understand how to interact with one another in perhaps a new way and one that mm -hmm. you kind of keep your own creativity but it gets to be connected with other people's creativity on larger and larger projects and I think going away from this I think as you were talking about a pyramid kind of structure where there, everyone at the top is getting the big profits and then all the people doing the work and, and it, it's not shared in a way that um, gives value back to the people giving value to the project. Exactly, you exactly. Just, if we come in with the big money, we're paying you this, you get your salary or whatever, and then we make all the big profits. So we, And they make the shots about how the story gets told and the whole, yeah. Everything. Just perpetuating. But, the, but the true creators, uh, the people who may be behind the camera, the people doing the editing, the talent, all the people that are really putting it together, um, may not get a big uh, as big a piece of the pie, or it isn't just decentralized, or it isn't it isn't sort of a more of a co-op as you're saying. Um, yeah, I mean, in the in the transformational entertainment, I mean, to get a film, you know, into uh, the studio, 
theaters and to get really like mass, mass distribution, um, you know, they want to tell their stories. And so like, they'll, you know, unless you have like a, a secret or a, a, you know, like one of these ones that get the real viral spread, which is happening as well. So there's a lot of films that are being made right now that are absolutely game changers and they're not getting the share volume. They're not actually getting out there. So you know, they're, they're, st they're starting to change. Like Amazon's creating more stuff now, Netflix is creating more stuff. And I feel like their consciousness level is a little bit higher than say the old studio money, but it's still not, it needs to have a change like that change is changing finance on the planet. Uh, media creation needs to have a, a space that, um, that tells the new world stories tells, tells these stories that we need to tell so is it kind of it's like a it's like a Netflix but for consciousness raising projects in a sense yeah I mean I, I guess I'd be weary of like going to woo -woo in that way but yes like like Things that want, you know, projects that want to and somehow touch people, inspire people, people uh, leave them changed in some way. It's what I call transformational entertainment. That somehow there's a transformation that's happened. Right. Um, and, and that it's, it's for the embetterment of the planet, not to just perpetuate an old story of fear, liberation, you know, for the purpose of fun, money, which is the same, you know, the same oligarchy as the banking system, right? Now they've, there's no changing blockchain. It's here to stay. It's changing everything. They're trying, you know, and it's gonna. They're gonna do a part of that, but and in a way, that's not a bad thing either because it's integrating into the the larger collective. But um, there's something that's happening underneath all that. That's like an evolutionary process that's exponential, and that is how I, I see that we could we could be a part of doing that in media creation, content creation. Mm. Well, and I think that that's a there's a. It's a huge piece of the puzzle because there's all these, let's say, transformational things occurring, but we're not seeing that as the main feedback mechanism. The normal media keeps giving this horrible type of uh, scenarios of futurizing that is very different from uh, moving into a beautiful future. <laughs> and I think yeah. the battle for the mind is like, is the mind going to believe that we're moving into a horrible future or a good future? Because all of us act very differently when we think we're moving into a good future. Yeah, I, I, I've always been, I've followed the, the Mayan calendar and, and, and a lot of their predictions. They were, they were talking about this time, you know, that 2012 was just sort of the crossing point into this new time. And there was these next blocks of, of you know, uh, synchronistic alignments that happened that are, and you probably know more about this, but like, I think right now we're in the actual, like, zero point transformational time. And... If the if we're in the moment where for the finances of the planet, like the monetary, the ability to actually you know activate and, uh, and execute on what we want to do, uh, you know, to be able to like tap into that source now, uh, I think it's it's incredible. Um, being someone like myself that's been producing for a long time, and every time we you know the best stories, the most beautiful. Change, life changing transformation. Working with Eckhart Tolle on on uh, Milton's Secret, you know, we still have we still haven't made our money back on that. It's been like five years into that project, you know, and it's a beautiful beautiful film. And um, you know, just it's just been a, a, an uphill battle for a lot of producers that are on you know working on that level. And now we can actually change that game. Big time. So, and I also think that your whole system could be. A, a, a blockchain like I think if you looked at look at like uh, Cardero it's ADA Card Cardano mm -hmm. they're kind of like an integration system on how to like bring everything together I think like you know your system is you know with the blockchain it's amazing yeah. Could I maybe put a map on and maybe we could do a bit of a brainstorm um, sure. yeah I'm gonna grab an apple Excuse okay me. 